Phase one of the transformation of Valdez Hospital into a healthcare center of the future is complete. The week before Thanksgiving, we began to close Valdez Hospital to inpatients on the medical side. So if they were requiring uh, medical care from an uh, internist or family practitioner, uh, they came over to Morganton. And then on actually Thanksgiving morning, uh, we discharged the last inpatient from Valdez Hospital and all of our inpatient care at that point in time uh, happened on the Morganton campus. Larry tells us he is very pleased overall with how smoothly the transition went. The integration has gone very well. Most of the Valdez nursing staff are on 5 North on the Morganton campus and are getting accustomed to the, the location of supplies and staff and et cetera on that campus. Uh, and then we are having every morning uh, at the Morganton site a what we call a incident command center where for about 15 minutes we review the previous day's um, critical issues, any staffing issues or concerns, any transport issues, uh, and we continue to have that incident command center operational even today. Staff were very flexible, the patients were uh, very kind and gracious as we uh, were shifting around and moving uh, both supplies and hospital beds over to the Morganton campus. Overall, I thought the planning went very well and the execution went smoothly as well. Meanwhile, as the transition headed into its final week, Carolina's healthcare system Blue Ridge teammates came to Valdez Hospital to commemorate its past and look forward to its future. Valdez, a celebration, marked the hospital's diamond jubilee with photos and artifacts from the hospital's first 75 years. Speakers included Vice President of Support Operations John Mercer, Nursing Practices Manager Carol Irvin, Chaplain Diana Spangler Crawford, and President and CEO Kathy Bailey. We're making changes now that position our Valdez campus to better serve the changing needs of healthcare, transitioning from an inpatient focus to an outpatient focus. We will continue to do whatever it takes to keep Carolina's healthcare system, Blue Ridge, viable for future generations of our community. And we will do so as you have in the past, with courage, with respect, with dignity, and with integrity. So even as the celebrants were looking back at the hospital's storied past, plans are being formalized for the next phase of the Valdez transition. The next phase will be our renovation of the Valdez Emergency Department. We start planning for that this month, December, and we'll be heavily into that next year when we start construction sometime in probably July to August of next year, if all the planning goes well. Uh, once we're finished with the Valdez Emergency Department, we'll be doing some expansion of other outpatient services here, and we have a team that we're kicking off that will be looking at what additional services can we provide on this campus?